Hello YouTube land, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Eddie and this is my channel where I discuss motorcycles, camping and outdoor related activities. Today we're gonna be discussing what will be the best pop-up camper or a tent fabric collar for you and your camping needs. So without further ado, let's give her. Please allow me a few seconds to start with some textile color science and then we're gonna dive into specific aspects such as weather, mood, safety, environment and privacy. For us humans, to see color we need to have light, which is simply electric magnetic waves coming from a source such as the sun. Different colors have different wavelengths so when the light shines on an object, some colors will bounce off while some others are gonna be sucked by it. Colors can connect us to emotions, inspirations, fashion statements, or simply desire to stand out, look for comfort or safety. By now you're wondering if I'm smoking some funny weed or if this is simply an episode of the TV show called What Not To Wear. All right, let's focus on the task at hand. So does color of your pop-up camper or camper or tent really matter? The short answer is yes. The best color depends on several different aspects. Let's start with the basic and well-known aspects. Number one, privacy. Black provides the best privacy as it blocks the light coming from outside in and from inside out, while white or clear fabrics allows light to migrate from both ways. Consequently, in some occasions, it creates a perfect Bollywood stage for a rated R puppet show. So private speaking, darker fabrics are much, much better. Next point is seasonality. Colors behave differently when exposed to sunlight. Therefore, specific colors will reflect light better or easier than others, while some can reflect no light at all. Light is pure energy, is stored as heat, and can have a different impact on how hot your pop-up camp or tent will become in a hot day, and equally it will impact how warm it will get during the winter time. Dark color fabrics, such as black, will absorb all the light along with all the energy that comes along with it. Based on that, you experience a warmer temperature inside of the sleeping area. Using the Excel pop-up camper, just like mine here as a reference, currently manufactured by Sunlight Trailers in Osoyoz, British Columbia, Canada, the burgundy, dark blue, forest green or red become ideal for the spring, fall or winter seasons. Light colors such as gray or lime green, on another hand, will reflect all or most wavelengths of light, therefore absorbing less heat, consequently ideal for hot summer days. Does, does that make sense? So now let's dig a little bit deeper. Let's talk about the environment. Several people uh, love the idea of blending with the environment. If the purpose is to match the environment, such as embracing nature in a lush mountain or park, you could choose the forest green while if you're camping in the desert or beaches, perhaps the beige or gray would be the best choices. Sometimes people don't want to actually match the environment, but rather they want to stick out like a pale North American tourist walking around a Brazilian beach. So in this case, uh, perhaps the pink or the orange fabric uh, will be the best choices. The next aspect will be unexpected guests. It is a scientific fact that bright colors will attract animals and insects. A good examples are bears. Bears are curious animals by nature and there's some evidence that suggests that bright colors such as orange, red or burgundy can attract more bears. Bears distinguish colors just like humans, uh, and unusual colors in the middle of the woods can really entice their curiosity, uh, and worst case scenario, your tent or pop-up camper will be more visible 
from far away. As experienced campers like we are, we know that there are other more important factors or steps to keep bears away, such as ensuring you don't bring food inside a sleeping area, making sure you keep your groceries uh, store away from the camper or tent, ideally in one of those uh, locked uh, boxes that some campgrounds may provide for free. However, mosquitoes, on the other hand, they love dark colors such as black, while bugs and some other insects prefer light colors, mainly at night when the tent is lit from inside and really attracts them in. To address these uh, let's call less harmful ones. Just make sure the mesh doors and windows are closed at all times. Nevertheless, the color of your tent or unit can become a factor attracting or repelling a wide range of animals. Next aspect is don't become a target. If you are camping in an area that's open for the hunting season, it isn't a great idea to be camping there, but if you are camping, uh, the best thing to do is to choose an orange camper or a tent fabric. An orange tent or pop-up camper allows hunters to see you or to spot you way sooner and not mistake you for anything else. Also, if you have been to a hunter class, for example, you will be told that deers cannot see or distinguish color but your fellow hunters can, and that will provide more safety. So orange, not only for a camper, but clothing really enhances your safety. A camouflage fabric, for example, might be a good idea for hunting uh, as you're gonna blend into, into the woods. On the other hand, doesn't allow other hunters to see you better. Next aspect is mood and fashion. When the weather turns into a cluster uh, and you're stuck inside longer than expected, a light colored fabric needs less lighting resources than a dark colored one. And furthermore, color therapy tells us that bright colors make people feel happier. Some experience and knowledge from bits and pieces from color therapy tell us that orange denotes trust, transmits a welcoming energy, and is also great for photography. The negative uh, side of an orange shelter is the fact that you won't be as stealthy as you may want it. Black denotes power, elegance, and provides privacy while it kind of make it easier to warm up during the cold days and allows you to sleep in if you want to. The negative side is the fact that it's hard to find when it's dark. And finally, it gets hotter than Indian food during the summer days, so it's not for everybody. White, on the other hand, denotes simplicity, purity, great for heat reflection during the hot days, but it's hard to keep it clean and at night, with your light source on, it will attract bugs. Green denotes harmony, stability, and allows you to blend in nature, but not the best color if you're kind of camping in hunting areas. Burgundy denotes luxury and romance. It tends to emulate a glamping experience and creates a campground statement, similarly to black, tends to be hot during the summer days, so again, it's not for everybody. As you can tell, there are several positives and negatives for each fabric color, so there's no silver bullet, really. So by now you're probably are thinking, so which fabric would I recommend? Considering a wide range of attributes, and my experience owning this Burgundy Leisure Light XL uh, pop-up camper, I would say this. First and foremost, not all brands of pop-up campers allows you to, to, choose, to choose your tent color. To the best of my knowledge, Compact Camp that fabricates the Minimate only has a sand or beige color, while the Timeout trailers only has the blue. Leisure Light, that's now manufactured by SLT or Sunlight Trailers, at the time of this video, has nine different colors that you can choose. Regardless if you're planning to order a pop-up camper or a tent, here are my five pesos about it. If you are planning to use four seasons, my favorite color will be gray, meaning a compromise between black and white. But if you're planning to camp primarily during the summer days, I would recommend a shade of beige similar to the Mini Mate. My Burgundy XL pop-up camper really creates a campground rockstar statement 
as people often come over to ask questions, uh, in my opinion, about it. All things considered, I would definitely prioritize when I'm going to be camping first and worry about fashion and mood uh, for last. Uh, does this make sense, guys? Please let me know in the comments area down below if you agree, if you disagree, what kind of camper collar or tent you, you're currently using. I'm preparing right now some additional content about preventive maintenance, how to keep your shelter waterproof, and how to pack. So please consider subscribing if you haven't done already uh, because you don't want to miss what's coming up. I hope this video was helpful and if it did, please consider give me the thumbs up because it really helps this video to get ranked better, hence allowing other people like yourselves to find it. Uh, that's it my friends, I really thank you for your time uh, and uh, as always, be good, be safe and let's keep the rubber side down. Ciao.